Understanding the significance that public history plays in the overall study of history is critical. Being able to visit and observe or study locations such as the Liberty Bell or Constitution Hall in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, help one to better understand that time period and the significance of those locations during that era. Today, we will be discussing the Battle of Brandywine. The Battle of Brandywine was part of the Philadelphia campaign and was fought on September 11th, 1777. The significance of the Battle of Brandywine was its proximity to the newly established colonial capital in Philadelphia and the new home of the Continental Congress. The Continental Congress took up Philadelphia as the new capital after fleeing New York from British forces. Brandywine is, is close to uh, Philadelphia uh, location-wise, and therefore this battle was critical in maintaining American superiority in the new capital. At the Battle of Brandywine, British forces led by Lieutenant General Sir William Howe and Major General Earl Charles Cornwallis fought against the American troops who were led by General George Washington and Major General Nathaniel Green. The British forces at the Battle of Brandywine numbered about 16,500. Roughly 5,000 of those troops were made up of uh, Hessian mercenaries. The American troops were numbering at about 11,000. So while the American forces weren't vastly outnumbered, they were outnumbered nonetheless. Going into the Battle of Brandywine, American troops had just won uh, major battles at Trenton and Princeton, which had uh, enabled them to recuperate and to bolster this new found morale and, and understanding that they could win this war for independence. Going into the Battle of Brandywine with that understanding that they had just won these significant battles maybe wasn't so good for um, understanding what they were up against. 11,000 troops against 16,500, some of which were mercenaries. Um, mercenaries don't follow the rules of war that most gentlemen or established military troops of the time followed. So it's understandable that with the, the confidence that they gained at Trenton and Princeton, that the Americans would have gone in with this, this emboldened uh, sense of uh, entitlement and confidence, uh, but ultimately they would lose the Battle of Brandywine. Significant again because of its proximity to the new capital at Philadelphia. Now, while this wasn't a major loss for American forces during the American Revolutionary War, it was a loss nonetheless, and they had to work harder to, to maintain the integrity of Philadelphia. Public history isn't just about being able to, to visit and use sites as sources or use sites to help you better understand a topic, but it's about preservation and maintaining integrity. In the year 2000, the National Park Service American Battlefield Protection Program had uh, written a report to Congress that named 243 uh, engagements, uh, battlefields of the American Revolution, of which only 100 were considered to have maintained uh, their historic integrity. The uh, Battle of Brandywine was among 30 that were in Class A and 
are now historically preserved. Uh, according to the uh, Brandywine Battlefield website, uh, there are tours, uh, there is a large donor program that allows th the preservation of these sites and allows students like ourselves, uh, students in, in elementary school, high school, middle school, uh, just historically minded people to immerse themselves in a time period that you might not be able to fully comprehend without putting yourself mentally in the shoes of people of that time.